Hello and welcome, I'm Toby Jones Drums and thank you for tuning in into another drum lesson. Now today we've got something way more fun because we're going to be doing a tier list on the best drummers that are alive, okay? Um, a quick disclaimer, um, all of this is going to be my own opinion um, and it's perfectly okay for you to just disagree or agree with anything that I say um, but I am a drummer myself so I can um, back up my answers to some kind of justification um, and also if I put um, a drummer that is your favourite in a lower category or anything um, it doesn't mean that this drummer is bad or any worse than the others it's not a competition, it's all just, uh, the whole point of this video is just expand your repertoire on you know, the best drummers um, and it just does it, does it in a more fun way rather than just something boring and just reading out loads of facts about drummers. I just want to show you some clips of some amazing drumming, um, it's all just to build repertoire. Um, hopefully you don't know all of them, but if you do know, then that's absolutely amazing. Um, also, if you're new to this channel, then please do hit that subscribe button. Um, one of you is going to be that lucky 100th subscriber, so if you will hit that subscribe, that'd be great. And also, if you don't follow me on my social medias, then do add me on Facebook and Instagram at Toby Jones Drums. All right, so without any more delay, let's get into our first drummer. So our first drummer is going to be Benny Greb. Um, and personally, he is just an absolute god. Um, this guy is he's so creative. Um, and he's, he's got such an appreciation for a specific sound. He's got his, you know, his um, signed uh, signature cymbals and snare drums. Um, he's also got some crusher hats as well, which I don't have. Um, but I do have some of the symbols behind me. You can't really see them in this kit, but I do have those symbols behind me. Um, but he also writes his own stuff as well. Um, and I think that's really, really like high level for a drummer specifically as well. But yeah, enough of me talking. Let's listen to some Benny Greb. <music> Keep that left foot going. Um, not the easiest thing in the world, but really important. It just makes such a much fuller sound. Yeah, so really creative. We've got him smacking the side of our floor tom. Um, really, really odd. Something that I'd never do to my drum kit. Um, but it makes such a really nice sound with the, in those overheads. It makes a really nice sound. Um, and where it's such a big tom, big tom as well. Um, another thing to note is that he's got that um, rack tom tuned really, really high. Um, and in the floor tom, um, he says in one of his videos that um, it should be like um, smacking like a dead pig. I know it's a bit gruesome, but um, if you do listen to that floor tom, that's kind of what it sounds like as well. That alternate snare is so beautiful. Okay, so that's absolutely amazing. Uh, it's so musical as well. It's not just everything loud, it's it's really musical as well. Um, I also want to show you a clip of some of his original work as well. I think that's, that's just really important. Yeah, so with it, can you hear that left foot? He's doing like a ch 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 ch. That is so hard just to do with your left foot. Um, I've tried it before and it's like impossible. You can do it on its own, but then to do a groove on top, it's insane. But yeah, you get you get me the idea. Um, so where am I going to put this guy? Um, yeah, I'm just going to put him straight into S tier, just because he's my per he's personally my favourite drummer out there. Um, and if you haven't checked this guy out before, then do check this guy out. He's like, he's an absolute legend, and he's like, I think he's like seven foot or something as well. He's huge. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know why that's important, but never mind. Okay, so this next drummer now um, is going to be Larnell Lewis. Now he's uh, most known for his stuff with Snarky Puppy, but he's um, he also does loads of work with like church and all that kind of thing. Um, he's world class in jazz, funk, um, and he really just stands out as like solid and just really funky. Um, but I'm just gonna, without not much talking, I just wanna show you some clips. Um, this is from uh, Zildjian Live. 
Um, try and nod your head to this one as well, because this one is like potty rhythm, like level a thousand. <laughs> Complete different like set of symbols, complete different sound. And this guy is a Zildian guy, and he's also a Yamaha guy as well. Complete different to um, what Benny was using, but uh, just listen to how good this sounds. So yeah, we've got um, really creative pushes down onto the hi-hat, so we get like a shh, and when you do a rim shot after, you get like a shh, it sounds so nice as well. How many kick pedals is that in a row? Yeah, so, uh, so I could talk for ages. So we've got loads of different splashes and um, stacks that just blend together so nicely. Also, his alt snare, with the snares turned off, it sounds exactly like a floor tom. I don't think it's Larnell's thing that he did, um, but yeah, it, it, basically his old snare, it sounds like an old snare, but when the snare's turned up, it sounds exactly like a floor tom, and you'll see in the overhead shot, it is actually a snare drum, uh, but I don't think it was his that he did, um, but yeah, pushes down on the skin to change the, change the tune, insane. Um, but yeah, pushes down onto the skin to change the pitch of the drum, it's so cool. And then, yeah, completely just changes the whole groove. Insane. If you haven't seen this guy before, please do just check out some more stuff with this guy. Absolutely insane. Um, yeah, so this guy is also going to go in S tier. I've just realised this is now going to be loads harder than I thought it was going to be because somehow I've got to put drummers underneath. This is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Never mind, we shall move on. <laughs> All right, next now we've got the god of playing fast chops. This guy is so insane. Single strokes, double strokes. Power digits, six stroke rolls, all of them. This guy is the god. If you don't know who I'm talking about, of course, we're talking about Eric Moore. This guy, if you see any of his stuff on Drumeo, he literally just does everything 10 times faster than I could ever play anything that he does. Um, it's it's insane. Um, this guy also just does like um, the same kind of style as Lionel, um, but he also started off in doing like um, punk bands as well, which is a bit unlike what he does now, but yeah. Let's check out some um, Eric. It's just insanely fast. Okay, just some one hand stuff. What the heck? Well, that's insane. How are you gonna just do it one handed and then just do more stuff and then just keep going and just keep going and. I found it. I like fell off my chair. That's insane. Um, I'm gonna say though, however, that this guy is gonna go in A tier just because um, I don't think he's as creative as Benny and Lionel, who, you know, they do mad stuff that you wouldn't normally do on a drum kit whereas this guy just does like oh, i don't want to like upset loads of people but um i just don't think he's as creative as, as the other two so i'm going to put him in, in the a tier 
Okay, next. Um, someone now completely different to the others. Um, we've now got um, Travis Barker. Now, um, he's not something that I've grown up with listening to, you know what I mean? Um, but um, a lot of students will be like, I want to drum like Travis Barker because Travis Barker is so cool, so fast, so powerful, all this kind of stuff. Um, and it's just um, when you actually listen to him and watch, watch him play, um, you can just tell straight away he's just so different. But he's so much more of a live performer in that kind of sense. Um, and everything's so loud and so even as well, which is really important. So let's listen to some Travis Barker. Yeah, so you can notice straight away, um, well, I've managed to notice straight away, that all the toms are really close together and really flat and level. Um, and that's all I'm going to say is um, I just think, because he's playing loud and fast, he doesn't want to be able to have to move up around the kit. So to have them all flat and close together, which means you can just go straight over to the other, other drums really easily without getting any unevenness. Do you know what I mean? The cymbals, on the other hand, are like two feet higher. Um, and that's, um, I'm gonna say that's more of just a performance kind of look. So you've got cymbals everywhere. Um, <laughs> and it just kind of makes it look way more appealing. Um, and hi-hats as well, they're like also two feet higher, which is insane. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, floor tom to hi-hat, whatever <laughs> whatever that is. Um, that's just, I think hi-hats just being that high just helps you just crash them out because you wouldn't be doing any like technical stuff on top. It'd just be all crashing um, on, the, on the edges of those. Yeah, that's not easy. That's... Or how even all those snares are whilst playing other notes as well. That's... That's... Yeah, that's that's quite tricky actually. Um, but yeah, all that's so even as well. Really good. Um, just because um, I think this guy is way more of a performer um, and hasn't put the um, other time into doing other stuff that the other drums have done, um, I'm going to put this guy in uh, the C tier just because um, I just think he's about there. Okay, next we've got um, probably um, the greatest singer or songwriter that's actually one of the best drummers in the world as well. Um, if you don't know who I'm talking about, um, it's Dave Grohl. Now, Dave Grohl started as a drummer for Nirvana, um, and then he obviously moved um, to be the lead singer in like one of the best bands in the world. Um, and a lot of people, um, they come to me, or they go, um, have you, and I go to him and say, have you ever listened to Dave Grohl? Um, Dave Grohl's drumming. He's like, I swear he's a singer. I was like, no, he's actually one of the best drummers in the world as well. Um, and they're like, really? Um, yeah. And I, I, yeah. And then I show them this clip. This is what I show them because I didn't want to show them Nirvana stuff. I wanted to show them something a bit newer. Yeah, so again, way much more of a live performer. Um, you wouldn't see someone like Lionel Lewis playing to an audience like that, um, and that powerful as well. Um, Tom's are just bigger the better <laughs> in terms of Dave Grohl, just massive, massive rack toms. Um, and again, all this arm movement as well, which is all for live performance, and it looks so good. <laughs> And this is, uh, <laughs> there we go, some yeah.
yeah, so that's Dave Grohl for you. Um, and I'm going to just say, just because like his transition from being one of the greatest drummers in the world to you know being one of the greatest bands in the world is such a good like story for you know um, in terms of like drummers as well. Like what a, you know what a growth as well. Um, and also his he, his creativity and able to write a groove for Smells Like Teen Spirit. Um, and all you have to do is play a bar of that groove, and then everyone knows about it. You know what I mean? Everyone knows what groove you're playing by just playing a bar of that groove. You know what I mean? Um, and for that reason alone. I'm just going to put him straight into the A tier with Eric. Uh, 